Um, hello and welcome. My name's Daniel Agnew. Um, I'm a teddy bear and toy specialist and I'm with my friend Hilary Pawley who's a teddy bear collector. Hello. Um, and we're going to talk about some of our toys and teddy bears today. Um, and for this little video we're going to concentrate on a German company called Schuko, which is, do you remember the name? It's Schreier and Co. That's which, right, Schreier which, okay, which yeah. is shortened to the Schuko. Um, and they're probably best known for their yes no teddy bears and toys. So we've got two here. Hillary's got the, the bell hop, um, which is like a, a, you know, in a hotel, he would have run around with messengers on a tray and so forth. I've never quite understood why they made toys of this, but obviously he was probably a well known character in the. This is, these are sort of the late 1920s, um, early 30s. Um, his particularly lovely one this is, where he's got a lovely face. So his mohair, head, hands, feet and, and tail. They've both got a little tail, which is how they operate. So you push it in and out for the, the yes, and then you wiggle it for the no. Mine doesn't yes very well. I think you might have to line it up quite easily. You've also got quite a lot of elastic band action going on around <laughs> this neck for some reason. Sorry, boy. So, um, my, my one um, has got his original paper label. So, this is the paper label on Which I'm him. very envious um, of. So, that says Shuko. Um, and then their trademark is a sort of little imp like character. I'm not sure what's on the back. Oh, here we are. Oh, there we are. That's quite interesting because it's got how to work the mechanism um, and it's got the DRGM business which is a trademark of German toys. Card, to have a card label is amazing isn't yeah, it? After it's, all these years. It's, it's lovely isn't it actually. I did actually, it, it was broken here so I have had to do a little repair oh, yeah. on it. Um, so mine is a duck and my duck has glasses some reason. To see better. Yes, well that would be true. Well actually he's a duckling isn't he really? He actually quite strangely looks like he's ready for the oven, doesn't he? <laughs> the shape of him. I'm sure that's not very PC. <laughs> you know. um, so I, I often do little talks to school children on um, on my toys and, and this always, these always go down well because I get them to ask him questions and it's like, you know, are you yellow? And he goes yes and <laughs> No, etc. So those are Shuko. You get uh, such hidden talents. <laughs> and so you get this, these the bears in all different sizes, and they're not always dressed. Um, they're often just golden mohair, and they actually made that on into the fifties and sixties. Um, and l the post-war ones are called tricky bears, um, and they often have a, a, a red plastic label on their clothes uh, on their chest. So those are two of Shuko's products, but they were also they were toy manufacturers at first, you know, rather than bear manufacturers. So they made cars and planes and all sorts of things, often clockwork. And we've got some clockwork things here now. So these are I love these are a little range of toys that they made. They're sort of four inch high characters. We've got Father Christmas, uh, a black man in a Top hat and he a monkey. He hasn't got the keys. No, he hasn't got they are, the keys do come out, so you just wind them up and off they go. <laughs> so, this one's the, the, the Father Christmas is really quite rare. Um, it's quite an unusual one. And, um, these are 1930s um, and they're metal framed, covered in felt. So, actually, or mohair, and the actually they're not really sewn. The metal frame holds all the bits of material together. So this seam here is held in place by the process of clipping oh, the right. metal okay. frame together. Yeah. And they make miniature bears, and you can often get the miniature bears, which are compacts, lipsticks, all sorts of different things like that. So we have those three characters there, and then. This rather lovely character is, I'm sure you'll recognise him as Charlie Chaplin, who which was the, the, the biggest movie star of his time and one of the first characters to ever have merchandise made of him. So, you know, he was a pre-runner to um, all the Disney toys and the 
Star Wars toys. This is your first um, character which ever they made toys from. And his original box. Yes, yeah, so this is his original box and it, it, it's a little bit sad in one aspect because actually this la underneath this label is a picture of him. Ah. So there's a lovely picture of Charlie Chaplin on that label but some um, person has given it this as a toy for Christmas, for Christmas which um, Saint Nicholas, for St Nicholas's Day which is on the 6th of November, is that right? It sounds right, yeah. Yes. Um, so this was given to uh, Miss Singer. Um, it's in French. Hilary, over to you. Um, an agreeable surprise. An agreeable surprise for Miss Singer. In, a in lovely surprise. So this is Charlie Chaplin and his box. And as everyone knows, Charlie Chaplin, this is his most famous character, and it's the Tramp. So... Um, he has his cane, and he wiggles round, swirling his cane. 6th of November 1930. Gosh. So, um... Je suis très agréable. There you isn't go. Isn't it lovely? Next time you ask me to translate French, give me a moment. OK. <laughs> <laughs> Are you could cope with it, though. <laughs> and then this is the last bit of Shuko that I've got for you today, which I love. It's a little... Um, tortoise or turtle I'm not sure I have to tell the difference and it's actually a compact so it's a ladies compact so it has its mirror and this is where the powder would sit and so this is part of you know like the teddy bears we were talking about with the compacts and the um, lipsticks and, and perfume holders and stuff there was a big craze in the 1930s for um, ladies novelties to go in their handbags and you can just imagine being at a dance and pulling out of your handbag your tortoise um, and powdering your nose and also I've got um, at home um, a cat that sits up that way and he's got his cat hat there and, and you squeeze it like that and he's perfume, a perfume and he squirts wow. he squirts um, perfume out of his nose which <laughs> <laughs> someone very amusingly commented on um, uh, on eat on Facebook that it's like a sneezing cat sneezing <laughs> perfume at you. So this is our Shuko range, which um, absolutely delightful. Yeah, lots of people. There's lots of people who just collect Shuko. You have to do a bit more than that, don't you? Yes. I'm, so. <laughs> I'm just there, really. There we go. That wasn't the best effort. No, no, well, I, I'm just <laughs> a bit frightened of this. We haven't seen him do it. So let's do just do him quickly. Oh, that takes some courage. I guess they're my, my toys. If I break my toys, it doesn't matter, does it? Oh! oh. Steady, boy. I don't make him feel a bit dizzy. Yes.